Okay, you simply must see my three favorite vocal effects in Adobe Audition. They're really easy to apply, and I'm going to take you through them now. Here is Adobe Audition, and if you've never recorded before, it's as simple as hitting this big red button. Click OK to the prompt. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to show you some really cool audio effects inside Adobe Audition that you can apply to your voice. Okay, uh, so a lot of people really sort of wonder, well, how is it possible to do audio effects easily? Uh, I'm going to show you some really simple ways, and I'm, I'm hardly even going to touch the effects menu because most people get really scared when I open up effects and I go, go to diagnostics, filter and EQ, modulation, chorus flanger, flanger phaser, and then change the modulation rate. And it's like, oh my goodness, there's far too much information there. Please keep it simple, Mike. So I'm going to keep these as three simple audio effects that you can do without racking through menus and changing presets, okay? This is how I'm going to keep this video very simple for you to follow. So I'm going to start a new multi-track session. Don't get too worried about that. We'll just call this VOFX and click OK. So there it goes. And there's my recording. I'm going to drag it into track one. So let's play it back. Hello, this is Mike Russell. And I'm going to show Now I can, of course, boost the volume by changing this. Hello. This is Mike Russell. And now the first audio effect is really simple. I'm going to select this is Mike Russell. This is Mike Russell. And I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option if you're a Mac user and Shift keys and then grab the title and copy it down once and twice. So triple track it. This is Mike Russell. Just made it a bit louder. Didn't do much else. Now I'm going to zoom right in by moving my scroll wheel as I go onto the timeline at the top. And I'm going to nudge this slightly to the right and this slightly to the left. This is Mike Russell. And I can do it more if I want more of an effect. This is Mike Russell. Now, that sounds pretty cool as it is, but then if I grab these blue lines and move them one to one side and one to the other side, this is Mike Russell. I get a really cool chorus effect. Very, very simple to do. And by the way, that same thing can be achieved. Uh, instead of grabbing the blue lines, you can apply a track wide pan by going left over here and right over here on this style. This is Mike Russell. Sounds really cool, doesn't it? Now, and I'm going to show you... Another thing a lot of people ask me is, and I'm going to cut this little bit out now by hitting Control or Command K around this bit, So, is how to create that old radio style sound. And I'm going to show you... So again, without using major effects menus, I'm just going to open up the essential sound window, which actually usually opens up by default when you first start Audition. I'm going to tell Audition that this single block here is dialogue, and then I'm going to go to EQ, and I've got a few options here, but I think intercom is quite cool, and I can take this from zero, and I'm going to show you up to 10, and I'm going to show you, and there's an old radio effect. If you don't like that one, you can go for old radio. And I'm going to show you crank the amount to 10. And I'm going to show you. And you can dial it up and down. And I'm going to. So you can pull it down. And I'm going to show you. And kind of lighten it off. And there's also on the telephone as well, which is really cool. And I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you. So instantly there, you can do things really, really quickly and really, really easily. So I think we've done two out of the three effects. And I think you'll agree they're pretty easy. I'm going to close down Essential Sound for the final one. And it's going to be here. Some really cool audio effects. So let's take some really cool audio effects. And again, we're going to do the same thing as before. Alt or Option and Shift. We're going to copy this down, copy this down. This time, we're not going to nudge up or down uh, those um, uh, audio tracks. We're not going to move them out of time. In fact, I'm going to take these both, hold Shift so they lock in time, move them onto these two separate tracks. And I'm simply going to go to my effects rack and add on the pitch shifter to the first track. And I'm going to pitch down ever so slightly, maybe by minus two, and go to the second track, add on a time and pitch pitch shifter, and nudge it up a few semitones, maybe two, and then play back. Some really cool audio effects. And you get that creepy, crazy clown. If you want to make it stereo, you can pan left, pan right. Some really cool audio effects. So let's remind us, we've got a chorus effect, we've got a radio intercom effect, and we've got a pitched effect as well. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm going to show you some really cool audio effects. And that was all done within the space of about five minutes, and it was done very quickly indeed, without rifling through major presets or effects menus. Thumbs up! Subscribe for more! Music Radio Creative.com